Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at new Damiana Studio stoneware items and I've also got some inspiration for using some of her beads with the Beetle on Instant Pendants. Uh, there's some really pretty designs from peacocks and daffodils to cozy homes and sunflowers, so let's dive in. Well, all right, so new Damiana Studio stoneware pieces, new at artboots.com this week. Hi, Dee, good to see you. Um, you might have noticed a couple weeks ago we launched some new Damiana Studio pieces, and these are kind of, um, in addition to that, some, some pieces that look similar to some of the pieces we launched a couple weeks ago, and some new designs too. We love Damiana Studio. All of these pieces are hand-painted, and they are um, stoneware, and you'll see she's got her little Damiana Studio stamp on the back of these pieces as well. And there's kind of like little collections, little themes that go together. So let's start with these. Peacocks. I love these. So a couple weeks ago we had the peacocks on the yellow background. These are on a nice soft pink background um, and you could kind of mix and match these too. Like the yellow with the pink would be so cute in a necklace or something. So so pretty. I love that that pink color of the background and then the deep vibrant blues of the peacocks are really nice and you've got quite a few shapes to choose from here as well. I love the half circle. You can see that you've got holes on either side of that pendant. You've got the trapezoid, again, holes on either side. So pretty. And then you've got this smaller round pendant with a hole at the top and then a bead as well, the lentil bead, which has the stringing hole running straight through. And that design is on both sides of the bead, so that's really nice too. I'm loving that peacock design. I love these flowers too. I think these are really good. This would be really good for like subtle holiday Christmas designs because you've got the little splash of red and green in there. And I just love this um, artwork. I just love the flower design on this one. Um, and then the uh, black polka dot background. This kind of reminds me of the artist Mary Inglebright. I don't know if you guys are familiar with her, but this really reminds me of her artwork style, which is really cheerful, whimsical looks. And that uh, fits right in, I think. So really pretty, so cute. I think it would be great for Christmas and holiday looks. Then you've got some fun daffodils. Um, and I love the color of the background. I think that makes those yellow daffodils pop just beautifully. Um, they're on kind of kind of a teal polka dot background. I love the detail and the artistry in our Damiana Studio pieces. They're all hand painted and they're just so beautiful. They're so different from anything else I've ever seen out there. They're really going to stand out in your jewelry. This one I think is really pretty. Um, so there's a town in Washington state called Puyallup and they have a daffodil festival every year and a daffodil parade. And when you're in high school, you can actually try out to be a daffodil princess and wear a pretty yellow gown <laughs> and be in the parade and do all kinds of like daffodil princess activities, I guess. You, I think you, one of my friends did it and you have to do, you have to do a lot of um, like public service stuff, like talk to elementary school kids, do a lot of events. Um, so that, this is what that reminds me of is the daffodil festival in Puyallup, Washington. So cute. So really lovely daffodil look. And then we've got this cute cozy house. I think this is a good one for winter. Winter is the time where you kind of like start building your fire, stay inside, uh, just chill out at home. And this reminds me of that, especially with little hearts in the windows and in the sky. And then you've got kind of smoke coming out of the chimney. It's just super cozy. So it gives those cozy winter vibes. Again, you've got the half circle. Um, this one, the bead, the stringing hole is kind of aligned uh, horizontally rather than vertically. So you can really showcase that cute house design. And then you've got the uh, circle pendant. I love them too. They're so cute. They're all beautiful. And um, on sale right now during our pre-Black Friday blowout. Super exciting sale. Love these mushroom styles. These are so cute. We've got this half circle pendant and I think putting it with that kind of back black background really makes those mushroom colors pop and I love the choice on the background color. This is very like cottagecore, earthy, woodsy, perfect for winter and fall. 
And then you've got that matching bead as well. I just love the mushroom style. So cute for jewelry. And then you've got these excellent sunflowers. If you're a fan of the daffodils, you'll probably also love the sunflowers. They're kind of like darker sunflowers, which I like. Um, really good colors. I know these are always so cute, aren't they? Um, just super sweet. And again, love the choice of the black background to make those colors just a little more contrasted, kind of stand out a little more. So really pretty. So those are our new Damiana Studio pieces that you'll find on the website now, artbeads.com. We've also got a new design studio tutorial uh, with free instructions and a supplies list. So I made a fire polished version of this bracelet back in February, um, but now, now we have this gorgeous prestige crystal version. I combined some prestige crystals in the smoked amber, light amber, and golden topaz colors because those work really well and um, put them along. I did some brick stitch beading around each bead with Toho seed beads and I created this lovely bracelet. So I actually created this. Um, Art Beads was invited to participate in a bead retreat with the Northwest Bead Society. So we um, actually had a kits of this bracelet made up with instructions and we passed them out to all the retreat participants and they were able to make these during our session with them. And these ladies were all advanced beaters. I was there to like provide guidance and help, but they really did not need much of my help. They were such pros. They just went for it and they had their instructions. They were good to go. And it was so fun um, to take part in that little bead retreat. And it was great to see everybody's creativity. A lot of the ladies brought designs that they've been working on and things that they've made in the past. They're, they're amazing beaters at the Northwest beading society. So that was really fun to take part in. And since we had, you know, instructions and step-by-step -step pictures all ready to go for this, I thought we should put this on the website as well because it's a really beautiful variation of this design. So you can find this on our website with uh, a tutorial instructions and a free and a supplies list. And what's great about this one is I did uh, take pictures, step-by-step -step pictures for all of the steps to create this bracelet um, for the retreat, but I've also got them on the website there for you so you have extra guidance for making this piece it's so beautiful with all of those prestige crystals and what's fun about this one is once you learn the techniques you can really have fun um, get different bead colors different seed bead colors and switch it up just make endless variations color variations of this design it's a really fun one to mix and match colors with uh, I'll show you my fire polish red version that I created in February too so just changing the colors can really change up the look of this piece. It's a lot of fun and it goes by pretty quick for a seed beaded piece. You're just doing the same simple brick stitch technique over and over for each of these little sections and then stitching them all together um, at the end. So it goes by pretty quick for a seed beaded, for a seed beaded piece, I think. It's super cute. So this one is new in our design studio as well. You can also find this one in our design studio. Love that. Love that style. That's a fun one to make. And it was fun to share it with the Northwest Feeding Society and now with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I did want to provide some inspiration um, for using Damiana Studio in your jewelry designs. This is another piece that you'll find in our design studio. Um, I love showcasing uh, the lentil beads from Damiana Studio as pendants. And actually, our Beadalon instant pendants make that really easy to do. So this is a Beadalon instant pendant. And it features a end or a finial that um, you can screw and unscrew on and off for interchangeable looks. So this comes right off. Let's see what matches. <laughs> I don't know if any of these particularly match the beads I have here, but just to show you as an example, you can easily switch out um, what pendant you're showcasing on a Beadalon Instant Pendant. Um, and the Damiana ones work really great for that. So there you go. I've got an instant pendant, as the name implies, um, that you can add to different jewelry pieces. So love the Beetle on Instant Pendant for using with stunning focals like the Damiana Studio uh, beads. So that's a good idea. You'll find that in our design studio with free instructions and a supplies list as well. And you'll find the Beetle on Instant Pendants on our website too. And we've got them in different... Uh, finishes and um, 
different uh, finial ends as well. This is a round finial. I believe we have some like spiked ends. I think there's some cylinder ends, some square ends. So all kinds of different options for you there with the instant pendant. So pretty. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and inspiring. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment. We always love hearing from you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.